Hey everyone, Gerbil here. In today's video, I want to talk about Saw Gerrera, who came to the game this week, and I want to kind of explore whether or not he really is that bad, and why you should probably consider farming him anyway. Now, before he hit the tables, I was planning to spend a little bit. I wanted to get him up to seven stars as quickly as possible. I believe he's going to be much, much more important down the road in the very short term near future than he is today. And that's kind of the, the premise of this video. Um, I think that Saw has gotten overlooked a lot in the short time he's been here already because, well, Aero 303 locked out a lot of players. The guild store has been, you know, revised. It's excessively difficult to navigate with uh, four different currencies, I think, in the same spot that are so similar in appearance and a bunch of other slew of problems. It's been a rough week for the Star Wars Galaxy Heroes community and capital gains. But I want to, anyway, shed a little light on Saw Gerrera and why we still might want to look at him more carefully. So first reason, of course, many people are going to want Saw regardless of how good or bad he is because he's a requirement for the upcoming Cal Kestis Heroes journey. Uh, you do need him at uh, gear 12, which is really, really nice. You do not need to take him up to Relic uh, gear 13. Um, but you might want to consider it anyway. So there's some interesting stuff here first off. Let's just continue this exploration real quick of the journey guide requirement. We got two unaligned force users who will likely be in the same squad together, maybe with Ray, who knows. We also of course are going to get the the Jedi Knight Cal Kestis out of this when we're all done. Marin is a Knight Sister, Tarful's a Wookiee, and Saw Gerrera is a Rebel Fighter, which is very reminiscent of the Starkiller event where you needed a Rebel Fighter, an Empire, a Smuggler, and a Sith. Now keep in mind when when the Talon, when Talon came out, a lot of people really kind poo pooed on her and thought that she was pretty worthless but the value of her character changed considerably over time when new strategies emerged and when new omicrons came out especially for the sith triumvirate which is going to be kind of the theme of the rest of this video so i my point is i think that saw as a rebel fighter tarful is a wookie marin is a night sister we haven't seen the full picture of where these characters are going and of course right now where is Cal Kestis and where is Jedi Knight Cal Kestis going to fit into the game? We really don't know. A lot of people have put them, are putting Cal with Rey. A lot of people are building their own teams around Seer, but we don't know, right? So is, is Saw really that bad? Uh, well, if you watched Arnold's video, his, his um, Whaler Fail unlocking and seven star testing, then you kind of walked away from that video with a really sad, let down, disappointing kind of feel because um, I, I think I watched 30 minutes of it without ever beating anyone. I mean, it was it was getting annihilated by by free to play resistance uh, with Zori, it, um, Empire, uh, just just everything. It, it did beat Aiden, but typically only after losing two or three characters. So like it, it could beat Aiden, which is I guess what Saw would want, but it was devastatingly low banners and very, very, very disappointing. So I think that that um, there are a couple problems here. First of them is that, like I said, I think that Saw's team isn't quite fleshed out yet. And this is a scene from the Andor TV show, so a very, very short spoiler here, about 30 seconds. I think there are four clues in this very one scene about why Saw is going to be more important as we go forward. So let's check this out. I love this cinematography here, right? So that dude right there, his name, uh, well, I'll get back to it in a second. So Here's an X Wing. Garrison at Old Donnie. Luthen. That's you. I was just about to ask you the same thing. You'd never tell me if it was. Let's agree. It was a masterpiece. Yeah, it was a masterpiece. I really like this scene. I really like Saw in there um, from an editorial position, though there was a really rough cut right there, but whatever. So uh, there are four clues right there, I think, as to why this is going to be important. Did anybody catch them? Okay, we'll get to those in just a second. So number two. Um, yes, he's needed for Cal. That was number one. Number two, these are all teams that sucked in the game until something changed. 
When Geo Brood War came in, the, the 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 power level of the Geos jumped dramatically. They went from like B tier back, you know, whatever, to dominating arena for a long time. Likewise, Road One was pretty much trash, and then Radis shows up and it is now a top tier meta team. The Tuscans were everybody's you know joke along with Cup. But then we got Chieftain and Warrior, and whoa, look at that. Now they are meta. The Inquisitors, yeah. Well, we add Reva, and suddenly, mm, look at that. They are beating Galactic Legends. Krennic and meh, Troopers, suddenly got replaced with Aiden and Troopers. And again, meta-busting team. And then, of course, we have all these leftover rebels who have niche places in the game. They really do. But you um, you replace Wedge, for example, or maybe it was Rolo lead with Sana, and suddenly you have a very, very valuable Territory War and GAC team that, honestly, that team right there, I get a hold every single GAC with it. Every GAC round, I get a hold with that team right there. Shh. Anyway, so one change can make a world of difference so going back to what the suggested characters are suggested keep in mind cg uh, sometimes is really really annoying with their terminology when they say suggested they're like yeah we we thought that you might enjoy it but that's not really what we wanted you to use right they can be funky like that also the, in here it says like Gain bonuses whenever you recover health. Well, the only one in here who I think is recovering health for anyone is Chirrut, who provides everyone with a cleanse and health up uh, or heal over time. So Wedge and Biggs, I don't really see them in here. This do, They do not make sense to me, nor did Saw, to the best of my memories, ever interact with those two characters or probably even Beige, Baze and Chirrut. So I think that this is this is all wrong. Um, I think that in the very near future, we're going to get maybe Luthen, Melshi, or Two Tubes. Two Tubes is the guy they're holding the big gun. That's not his real name. Of course, Luthen is amazing. And in that same picture right there from Andor, you see two X Wings. And at the cave entrance, there's a dude in all white who's also significant. And spoiler alert, he's also going to have a more prominent role in Andor Season 2, as is Two Tubes. We're going to see more of them, and we're going to see more Saw Gerrera, which means to me there is more coming. Of course, maybe not. This is speculation. So, um, in addition, I think number three, not only are we going to get more characters, Saw is going to be a pilot down the road. And if not Saw, some of his uh, teammates are going to be pilots. We already have two pilots on his suggested team, Wedge and Biggs, but I think we're going to get more. Saw had his own fleet for the, for the most part. Um, and it had a distinctive painting pattern with that black and white camo. And um, it's been featured in a lot of Star Wars content. So it's in a significant part of, of Saw's character arc. And it's right now not in the game. I think it's coming. I really, really think it's coming. It may be a while on that one because, you know, the next fleet thing is, is Sith. But who knows? Who knows? Then the fourth thing is, yes, if you know anything about my channel, you know that I've been saying that a Rebel GL is coming. Uh, I think we're going to get an announcement on that by the end of the month, maybe um, June at the latest. But I think in the next 60 days, we will get a GL Rebel announcement. And if you know anything, again, you know I've been saying for at least a year now that Saw would be a requirement for that Rebel GL, who I do think is going to be Leia. And that makes sense. Um, Saw nearly killed Leia, actually, at some point, and their paths cross quite a bit. Now, I did a recent video, and a lot of people were like, no way, absolutely not with a few of these people that are like Vader instead of Tarkin. I'm like, no, I don't think so. And they think, and a lot of people said Rolo is going to be required. Maybe. We'll see. I, I, I mean, it's all speculation, right? I'm not trying to say I'm right or wrong. But I think, again, Saw will be 100% required because Cal only needs him at gear 12. I think a Rebel GL would require him at Relic 5 to 8, actually. And that, that's going to hurt a lot to be honest. But it makes total sense from a gameplay, a lore, and from a like capital gains um, financial opportunity, a revenue stream, right? 
Um, so we'll see. Uh, just a real quick addendum to this, I didn't add it on there, but a bunch of people gave me some feedback that they think Imperial Shuttle is going to be needed, and I was like, oh, you know, that's true, because in Return of the Jedi, I think that they took an Imperial Shuttle down to Endor. So that makes sense, Imperial Shuttle. We'll see. I That that totally makes sense. So just a real quick recap. Cal Castus, he's needed, obviously, for Cal Castus. A lot of teams in this game, and I mean a lot of teams in this game, really were quite awful until something happened an omicron or a new character or something and i do not in any way think that saw is a one and done for his entire faction and followers of fanatical fighters i, I definitely we're going to get some more content i mean look he's been in so many different elements of the star wars tv series movies comics fandom he's everywhere uh, we will see some supporting characters for this. Um, I think that they are going to be potential pilots, including himself, and I feel 100% take this one to the bank. He will be a requirement for a Rebel GL. So anyway, maybe he sucks now, but I think it's worth farming anyway. So I hope this video was interesting or entertaining. If so, give me that thumbs up, give me that like, and I'll catch you all later on the Holotables. Bye-bye.